near 775. Sometimes we show up to a job and it's just a difficult place to put a ground mount. And we've kind of scouted this out. We were going to put it, well, the customer wanted on that peninsula, but it's going to require quite a few tree trees to come down. And it's kind of a nice hangout spot. So we've kind of redirected. We're going to put the solar up in an, another area and it's actually closer trench wise. So uh, you never know what you're going to run into. But uh, so we're regrouping. I think we're worth the walking everything and finding a comparable or a better solar site. So we're going to go. The only problem is we're going to have to move his fig trees he's got planted, but that's okay. So yeah, we're on another job. And this is a customer that is a do it yourself customer. And but he wanted us to do the solar ray, which at was going to be 500 feet from the solar arc. Now it's going to probably cut it at least 200 feet. That'll be better. And uh, so we'll have 300 foot pole so number eight and a two inch pipe. It won't be bad. So we're just putting up 16 panels. Got the driver ready to go. And uh, Abraham's got, we don't have to carry our equipment so far. So this is going to be a much much better, safer move all around. So sometimes we show up and the only way it was gonna be able to get the solar array over there is to put the posts in the pond and we really didn't wanna do that. So, okay, get to work. Wrapping up day one on a DIY deploy and support job. So we're doing more and more helping folks uh, help themselves by building their own solar systems if we supply them the equipment and some of the know-how, how to put it together, and kind of, that's what I've been doing with this customer, walking them through. He's done a great job, which I'll show you, the installation of the inverter and all his critical loads and uh, everything from the CTs to the batteries. He's done really, really good, really well. So we fortunately moved, we had a pretty rough position where we're gonna put the solar array in this morning and we moved it to this location, which is a shorter wire pole. Um, there was a lot of tree work, a lot of, a lot of finagling. And uh, Abraham picked a different spot. We'll give him credit for saving the day today on this job. He's the MVP. So, um, <laughs> so we're um, could probably cut our trench about 250 feet off of our trench on this one, or at least 200 feet off. And that's going to help. We just got to pull. We're going to parallel two sets of eight for one MPPT. He already put up some solar on the other side of his property. So we're putting it up on this side of the property and we're gonna connect them in the solar shed. So again, this has uh, been fun. We uh, got the post driven in with this, uh, with the Rambo driver. And this is a 16 panel, 400 panel, 400 watt panel. So 6,400 watts. The max for one MPPT channel is 6,500. So this is just a great amount of solar. And we're gonna pull that in here probably tomorrow, but I better get digging. Um, we're wiring it in a way to mitigate the shading. That's what Abraham's working on now. Doing a couple, uh, we'll probably put the combiners in the middle, branch connectors in the middle, and a home run over to the, got a pre-built pull box. So I better get going, because I got a long ways to go. I made a kind of a road through the woods and I gotta get it. So, all right, I'll see you later. Time to dig. Day two on helping out a homeowner do a DIY project. He had picked up a lot of equipment before. He contacted me. He got these six Simplify 3.8 lithium batteries. Awesome. Got them all mounted. He came and picked a Solark up from me. And it's got everything in. Nice EMT, nice EMT bends and kicks. He's doing a really good job, so he watched all our videos and just started building. So we're about to <coughs> we're about to pull solar in from our array that we built with the post driver. And he's already got one array that he already pre-built pulled in here. So we're gonna bring in some bring in the other array. Alright, end of the day, we're just gonna wire these up. We're gonna try to we're gonna do a group of eight down there and a group of eight on this side just to mitigate some east-west shading. Use the Sinclair fixed mount 
and we got creative with the cantilevers the on lack of cantilevers uh, we just mixed and matched the purlin so we could get 16 panels on here so that worked well so it's looking good abraham's doing some leapfrogging because we wanted to um just because we have all the j boxes facing the same way the stickers are up on both so we're having to leapfrog the bottom to get everything to reach here about a 350 volt string i think it, i think he's got it a little shameless advertising plug while he's working practical preppers if you need some help there's the phone number and there's the website is it gonna work or is it stressing too much stress i'm gonna make some jumpers like okay you're on film now take that youtube trolls <laughs> <laughs> we're almost wrapped up we've tested the dc and we're having lunch yes we end up in many places where we're by the water been watching some snapping turtles and some trout he's got an awesome fish feeder here that feeds him once a day and shoots the pellets out around 50 feet and the sharks go crazy so uh, we turned everything on in both arrays. We restrang the other array to 10 panels. So we were bringing in around seven kilowatts, charging those Simplify 3.8s. Show you a little bit more of that. But we're just, it's on lunch break, sitting next to my trusty Rambo. That did really well. This soil was super hard. And uh, 16 posts, 10 foot on center, 16 panels, 10 foot on center posts. Thing is bulletproof. So um, this, this job is a, it's a lot of fun, helping a DIY customer with a Solark 12K. So if you're interested or need help and want to know if you can tackle it, uh, they did it. They just bought this piece of property. It's really awesome. They got a super deal, a couple houses, nice fishing pond, a lot of acreage. And now they're just taking it off grid. And... Um, so we're going to do a limited power to home with them. They do have utility here. So we're going to do a zero export or an offset, however you want to put it. Um, in the Solark 12K, it's called limited power to home, where you put CTs, current transformers, around the main so you don't export any excess solar back to the utility. You can actually use that to offset the cost of the loads in your main panel. So that's the way he's going to run here. It saves you from having to do an interconnect with the utility. That's always nice. And um, so it's great. We've tested our side. They're finishing up their critical loads panel. So we're going to we're gonna get loaded up, head out. Had a delicious carnivore lunch, some ribeyes, some coffee, some eggs. And I cheated with a pickle. And um, I'm going to get this, this loaded up. We got most of this loaded up in the excess panels and... Got a couple more hours here. Do some testing. We've got a generator input to test, and uh, we've got the ditch all backfilled. So, ah, oh, it's a good point where we're at right now. We should be able to get home at a decent hour. Anyway, if you need help with your DIY project and there's part of it that's daunting or you don't want to tackle it, and you're within driving distance five hours of upstate South Carolina, five to six hours, we'll come build your ground mount we can usually do it in a day and the trench depends on how far you go so we can deploy build your ground mount this trench was 310 foot long and two inch conduit in honor of two inch johnny and um so we're uh it's fun it's fun to see a customer excited about their system they did a lot of work on it so they got you know they're invested in it and then when fire it up and it just starts dumping 100 amps into that battery bank, that's very rewarding. So, and people really start paying attention to their power usage. And uh, it's just a, it's very rewarding to be able to make your own power, just as it is to grow your own food. Um, to make your own power in today's high-tech world is pretty exciting. And they work remotely too, so he a software developer I believe of some sort and so to be able to always have his 
livelihood functioning because he's got power. It's an awesome thing. All right, enough of that. And uh, if we can help you, just let me know. We'll get you a system. We'll help you put it in. All right, end of the day Friday, we're wrapping up this off-grid hybrid installation of a Solark 12K with six Simplify 3.8s. It's a DIY project. A customer and his son did all this work, all the AC work. They had the batteries ready to go. And they were scrambling today to get ahead. We got ahead of them. We got the solar in and up and running. And then they caught back up. Some nice conduit bends. And uh, everything looks good. Everything's working great. We got the, got the system on the internet so you can monitor it with PV Pro. And they're pulling about 440 watts. Solar is matching the load in the house. We got uh, at least three critical loads panels. Um, so... They are, they're about to get, start testing the system and practicing. We haven't turned on the bi-directional yet. We're going to put this in limited power to um, home mode and be able to offset the cost and lower their power bill. Right now, we're just testing everything off-grid. And we have one more test, and that's the bi-directional. So, good job. See, I hope this encourages some of you to do a DIY project with us with Practical Preppers. Will help you. Uh, I kind of went over the wiring diagrams with the customer before we started, and and he had already jumped into it, and uh, so we just rewired the, his array to match what the Solark needed. Put in our new array, and he's got 9.8 kilowatts, plenty for what he needs to do. All looks good. So if you need help or want to do a DIY project, just let us know. Just send me an email, info at practicalpreppers.com, or call me at 864-915-1855. All right, I guess that's about it. Sorry to make you sick with the video going all over the place. So we did a little champion inverter test, charged the battery on the generators, charging the battery on solar. We haven't charged it on grid yet, but that's cheating. That's the easy part. All right, a couple more tests, and we're going back home. All right, folks, thanks for watching.